Hey, well, it's a sad week for snowboarders all around the globe as news of Jake Burton Carpenter's passing continues to spread. Local 44's Alex Ladstatter joins us live in the newsroom tonight with a look at the power of social media. Alex? There certainly has been a lot of activity, specifically on Twitter, from Vermont to as far away as the UK. Olympians, celebrities, politicians, and ski resorts alike share their memories of the late snowboarding pioneer. Of snow enthusiasts from all walks of life shared their reaction through social media following the death of Jake Burton Carpenter, the founder of Burton Snowboard, using the hashtag RideOnJake. Jane Sanders, wife to Senator and presidential candidate Bernie Sanders, tweeted today Our family is saddened by Jake Burton Carpenter's death. The iconic founder of snowboarding created a community of joy and camaraderie among riders that span the globe. Our thoughts are with Donna and their children. The U.S. ski and snowboard team said thank you for all that you've done for our athletes and for shaping the sport of snowboarding into what it is today. Your legacy will live on forever. British snowboarder Jamie Nichols said, rest in peace, Jake. Thank you for everything. Even local and nationally recognized businesses shared their remarks. Killington Resort said, Jake lives on in every turn. Energy drink company Red Bull passed on the message. It is because of his passion and vision that the snowboarding playground we all enjoy exists. He will remain in our hearts forever. And finally, Zoomies, an apparel company, said, a true original who always did it his way. For us, it was Burton and Sims 30 years ago, and that spirit still pushes all of us forward. It was in December 1977 when Jake Burton Carpenter would revolutionize the sport of snowboarding with his first shop, Burton's Boards, which was inside a small barn in Londonderry, Vermont. He went on to move his factory north and make Burlington his new home. Carpenter died two days ago due to complications from recurring cancer. He was 65. Live in the newsroom, I'm Alex Ladstetter, Local 44 News.